This is a crazy number. Almost 800 million people around the world have some type of an autoimmune disease, whether it be lupus, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, or our favorite, and the reason you're here, multiple sclerosis. We'll tune in because this is awesome. I'm Cliff, and this is Life with a Mess. Let's go. Inverse vaccines. Inverse vaccines. Think about that now. Hmm, what could that mean? Well, we're talking about vaccines, so maybe it's fake news. Okay, that was a really bad imitation. (laughs) Inverse vaccines. So what is it and what does it do? Imagine a world. This is like a movie thing. Imagine a world. Imagine a world where instead of your immune system going bonkers and attacking your body, your immune system gets basically a lecture from another part of your body and And says, hey, you need to just chill out and just completely ignore one part of this thing that's going on. And then your immune system would be like, oh, oh, okay. I could do that. I can ignore that. We could basically treat things like lupus, diabetes, and multiple sclerosis with drugs that wouldn't have the side effects or at least not as many side effects as we currently have. (laughs) Now, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know I'm stuck in this twilight zone between DMTs, which is a disease-modifying therapy for multiple sclerosis. I took a couple of them. Neither one of the first two worked out. One had really bad side effects, infections, (laughs) and the other one had what we call the crap gap. And so I have to make a decision here coming up in the next couple of months about what I'm going to do next. If I had something like an inverse vaccine, it would completely change the game. Let's get into what an inverse vaccine does, what it is, how it's being researched, and what they're learning about it. So we know current vaccines basically boost your immune system. But with autoimmune diseases like MS, our immune system is already kind of ramped up and already attacking our bodies. And to treat an immune system like that, we're currently using a sledgehammer approach. But what if we could use a scalpel approach and go in there and carve out little parts of the immune system that we didn't want to react to things? Well, that's kind of what an inverse vaccine does. And what this would do for us with autoimmune diseases is it would leave us some level of defense against other infections. And infections are bad, okay? So why don't we hop into the immune system and re-educate it? Let's talk nicely with our immune system. Let's be friends with our immune system. And instead of hitting it with a sledgehammer, let's just grab it by its little immune system hand and guide it through the process of keeping us well instead of making us sicker. Do you think our B cells and T cells and overall immune system would be up for that? Well, we're starting to see some research that, yeah, it actually would. It may be beneficial. So a bunch of researchers and scientists got together and they decided, how could we test this inverse vaccine concept? And they wanted to find something that was reliable in terms of flare-ups and they could actually control. And so they went after a group of celiac patients, 33 of them to be precise. Now, this research happened in 2022 before hmm, funding got reduced or completely evaporated, which I'm not bitter about that or anything. Come on, we're making such good progress. Stop pulling our money away, people. Anyway, I digress. So what they did in this study is they gave celiac patients, well, an inverse vaccine, and they also gave some of them a placebo. Basically, the group that had the inverse vaccine didn't show any gut deterioration from actually consuming gluten, which is like a big no-no when you have celiac disease. It is literally an intolerance to gluten, and it causes all kinds of like ulcers and nasty stuff in the digestive tract. They didn't have any of that. And here's the real whiz banger. They scaled it down and put it in the mouse model of multiple sclerosis and gave mice with multiple sclerosis the inverse vaccine. They had really good results. Now, I'm not a mouse and you're probably not a mouse from what I'm guessing. But here's the thing. They think if they can really dial this in, they could start seeing really good results in the human models within five years. Think about that. That is huge. That is a huge leap forward in research and development in terms of how we're dealing with multiple sclerosis and a completely different way of thinking about how we're going to actually cure it, solve it, treat it. So the best way to think about inverse vaccines is basically they're re-educating the immune system. We're not just blatantly wiping it out. And that clearly has a lot of advantages, like less infections, like 
respiratory infections from Casenta that last months and months and months on end. Not that I'm biased or anything. Anyway, I wanted to update you on that because I think this is some really cool stuff. I've linked to the study and a couple of articles in the description below. It's definitely worth a read because if we start seeing success within the next five years on this, that is just a gigantic leap in progress. And that is completely awesome. And I just want to say a quick thanks to TheGuardian.com because I found the original summarized article on there. And that's what got my interest in finding out more about this. Think about what you would do differently if you could basically eradicate the symptoms and the progression of your multiple sclerosis five years from now. How is that going to completely change your life? Comment below. I have some ideas. Maybe I would take that trip to the Himalayas. Maybe I'd go camping with my kid. Or maybe we would go on a tropical holiday, which I can't do now because it just gets too hot for me. Oh, there's so many possibilities. I'm Cliff. This is Life with MS. And until next time, I appreciate you all. And I'm out.